Hello everybody, this is Psychic Medium Jane Hamilton Parker. Today my talk is on superstitions. How many of you have been brought up on superstition or was it old wise tales? It's been with us from right from the beginning of time. Um, there's just a few things I've put down here that you might find interesting. <clears throat> right. Are you superstitious? Do you believe in superstition? And here are a few. Right. Omens that foretelled the future and dreams. Do you believe in that? For one I can think of when I was a child, touch wood quick for good luck. Otherwise bad things are going to happen to you. Touch wood. So you're touching tables, touching chairs, anything that's wood. And also <clears throat> keep your fingers crossed. Is that for good luck? Keep your fingers crossed. I found that quite amusing. And don't put an umbrella up indoors because it's meant to bring bad luck. It probably would bring you good luck if the ceiling fell down, if you got your umbrella. And crossing it nice. Now I know my um, grandmother was very superstitious on that. If you cross nice, it's meant to bring arguments or if it suddenly thunders and lightning, cover the mirrors up with black cloth or put the knives and forks away or go under the table, um, turn the lights off. And I can remember constantly uh, some of her friends hiding under the cupboard, under the stairs, because if lightning comes, it strikes you down dead and that. And uh, all these superstitions, where on earth did they come from? There's a few I wrote down. Don't walk under a ladder. Well, I suppose that's a superstition in case a pot of paint falls on your head or anything. I mean, I've seen lots of people walk under ladders and they seem to be OK. And also salt. Now, salt was really considered wealthy in the Roman times if you had salt. And there were salt mines um, in mortar that salt. You had to be very wealthy to have salt. And if you spelt salt, if I'm correctly, you threw it over your left shoulder for luck. Just make sure there's nobody behind you there. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Friday the 13th. Well, Sikhs find 13 is meant to be a very suspicious lucky number for Sikhs 13. 13 was unlucky for Christ. 13 seems to be unlucky for some, but very successful for others. 13. 13 is quite a spiritual number in the Sikhs community. Right. Onions. Right. I found this rather amusing. If a child was very ill, then you would place an onion, a cut up onion in the room because it was meant to take all the energy, all the sickness and all the bad things away so a child could get better. And then you would have to get the onion and you would have to burn it to get rid of all that vibration and that sickness and ill health. I mean, years ago, another thing they used to do is put goose fat on brown paper to put it on your chest so to take any illness or chest complaints away. I mean, who'd want really to do that? Did they work? Yes, some of them did work. Never put a picture over the door. Well, I can understand that. And don't put a picture above the bed. That was considered in the Victorian times very unlucky. I suppose if the picture fell on your head if you walked through the door, or if the picture fell upon you when you were in bed, it could have killed you, couldn't it? I mean, there's so superstitions around all the time. Because it was considered bad luck hanging all these pictures above the doors and that, and I can understand why. And also, in lots of uh, rituals, people used to use salt because it's meant to keep evil spirits away. Or they place a saucer of water and put some salt and smudge around each corner of the room to keep evil entities away. And salt was considered a sacred thing. I mean, I can go, you can go back to the Bible when somebody looked over their shoulder and they were warned by God not to look and they turned into a pillar of salt. So I suppose that's where that superstition came from. And, you know, like I say, you've got to throw salt over your left shoulder, not your right shoulder, your left shoulder. And, you know, sixpences, silver was considered very lucky. Uh, if you go back to the old fortune tellers, 
the Romneys, crossed my palm with silver. Well, I was up to make sure they got the money before, but silver is considered one of the highest things and considered very good luck. Um, people wanted to have, wear silver horseshoes on bracelets and bracelets uh, years ago that had like a lucky clover. Um, it all had to be in silver or they had an emergency uh, charm that carried, um, it was a 10 shilling note and a pound note for an emergency, which wouldn't be any good nowadays. <laughs> right. A black cat was meant to be lucky that um, went past you. It was always considered also as witches had black cats um, and also white cats. My grandmother would not have a white cat in the house where our boo is white because um, I think it's where white cats were prone to be deaf and, and things. But, you know, how do they know those things? I'd like to know. Right. And also, I can remember as a little girl look, looking for a stone on the beach with a hole in the centre of it, considered very lucky to carry a stone, a bit like a talisman, really, that brought you good luck, good fortune, or looking for in the fields for a lucky clover with four leaves, all these symbol things. Now, some people are superstitious on doing things on certain days. I mean, Chinese people do not like doing things with a four in it because it symbolizes death. They like eights, which bring good fortune. The phone numbers have eight, the door numbers have eight, and it goes back to mystical, magical numbers. Also, um, I don't know if you can remember as a child looking for a sixpenny, silver sixpenny piece in the pudding that it brought good fortune um, and that, and I know that used to be very lucky and bring lucky things, good fortune. You're lucky enough if you got it, because I can remember we used to have to hand our bats to our grandma to use for the following year. So it wasn't lucky for us. Right. And <clears throat> also, don't let somebody cross you as you're walking up the stairs because that was another one that was considered bad luck, somebody crossing in front of you um, and as you're passing the stairs and that you had to wait for that person to come downstairs for you could continue upstairs. That was another superstition. And going back to black cats and things, so another superstition to keep evil away. They used to put shoes up chimneys or you'd find uh, mummified cats to keep evil away. All these different things that happened. Um, and also certain flowers not to bring indoors, like don't bring peacock feathers, bad luck. Well, peacock feathers are quite spiritual. They've got the third eye and they're quite beautiful, very beautiful. Or don't bring May in the house, my grandmother used to say, the white flowers brings bad luck well these are all beautiful things that you weren't allowed to bring indoors and never talk ill of the dead because they would hear you that would be another thing my grandmother used to say um, and never go past the graveyard and talk ill of people because they'll come back to haunt you quite frightening isn't it when you think of it and <clears throat> people carry all these things through the centuries and everything so i'd like to hear what your superstitions are, has it brought you good fortune or bad luck and that? Because I believe we make our own good fortune and we make our own bad luck. Uh, and certain people around us, um, different religions have different rituals and symbols uh, and very superstitious of things. Uh, one I can think of is on um, a ward in a hospital if you had a bird that would fly through the window and circle around the ward, be it a sparrow, a robin or that, somebody would die. And I I know that to be true because I've actually seen that happen. And symbols, if you see a robin, it's a messenger from above. If you see a robin and that's somebody trying to warn you about a death because robins were considered um, very holy and spiritual birds because the blood on the chest represented Christ. Um, what other things? Um, <clears throat> also, um, all these superstitions and different things like this, people still use it in this day and age and all these different things. And 
you know, I was thinking about it. It goes right back, even in the Bible times, they had superstition and things. I mean, you take about uh, witches when they used to put them in the ducking pond. If they floated, they were innocent. If they didn't float, they were guilty. You didn't stand a chance either way, did you, really? And also all these mystical animals, toads, dragons, all these symbolic things and superstitions. The Chinese believe dragons very lucky uh, if you have a dragon tattoo on your leg. Uh, dragons are very, very lucky and bring good fortune. Um, and all these different things and like giving money to the spirit by putting money in red envelopes. So it goes to your ghost ancestors. Very lucky, very, very lucky. So all these belief systems that happened right going back centuries and centuries and centuries ago are most interesting. Am I superstitious? Yes, I am on certain things. If it rained on St Swithin's Day, then it rains for 40 days and 40 nights. That was another old saying. And sometimes it seemed to happen like that for some coincidence happened like that. Also, um, people think the coloured green is superstitious. But if you go on television or theatre, they always have a green room where the guests can stay or they make them welcome. So you know, or break a leg. That's another superstition, isn't it? When people in the theatres break a leg, which means good luck. I can hardly see why it's good luck. And also with animals and things, very superstition going around animals. Elephants, lucky with the trunks up in the air, bring good luck, good fortune. So we're going to start rubbing your lottery tickets on uh, an elephant's trunk then. But all these very, very superstitions, um, where did they come from? How were they made? And we're going back centuries and centuries, even to modern times now. Or like animals can pick things up um, when they know there's going to be an earthquake and that. Because, you know, it's like don't cross that animal, that cat across the road and different things like that bring you bad luck. Um, and... Don't go into the sacred places like that because that will bring you bad luck. Um, I can remember when we were in Thailand, the sea levels suddenly dropped and I saw all the elephants run up to the mountains and all the animals because they have boats on there called sea gypsies that live on boats and that fishermen really and all the animals. And suddenly the water suddenly dropped down and animals with a sixth sense pick it up and suddenly they had all the waves coming over and destroying villages and people's lives and everything. Very superstitious. And I think something happened on that particular day. Superstition, the number 11, because you think of the uh, Twin Towers, how the dreadful things that happened there, it collapsed. Well, actually, 11 means connecting to heaven and earth. Um, and all these different superstitions, or don't bet on a number 13, um, and don't have that number, it's unlucky, 6666, because it means you're calling the devil in that. Well, actually, 666 is mantras, or mantras, if you like to say, but if you turn it round the other way, 999 is really 999 names that God's known by in all different religions. So all these superstitions, again, um, I can think of. Don't cut your toenails on a Friday. Don't cut your hair on a Friday. It bring you bad luck. You must never cut your toenails on a Friday. Is that a Catholic saying? I don't know. I'm not sure, but I know we are bought. You never cut your toenails or your fingernails on a Friday. It brings bad luck. And what else was there? I'm thinking all different things and so different colours and uh, and different things. And that, and it's really interesting. I'd love to hear if any of you are very superstitious or any of these superstitions have really happened to you because it'd be most interesting to hear. Now, spiritually, I feel um, you have to rise above certain superstitions and you've got to believe in yourself and you've got to concentrate on yourself and always have compassion and love in your heart don't think 
bad things. Um, but always be cautious in life because we're living in dangerous times now. The world's changing, the world's coming selfish. Uh, it's a me, me first society and it's, you know, food gone up and, and everything like this. But there's still good in the world. There's still good people, very much good people that do good things. Thank goodness. I mean, <clears throat> it's like, um, you know, I had to take, we had to take a granddaughter to hospital the other day. My goodness, don't those nurses work hard and they're short staffed. They're very short staffed and short of doctors and like pharmacists and things like this because the COVID did affect everybody. And um, so they got rid of loads of people, say, in the airport because of COVID. And now they're paying the price. You see all these shops shut down uh, and different things. And I'm wondering, you know, it brought people together on a certain level. People were kinder and compassion and people who were very superstitious. Oh, this is this is being cursed and all these viruses coming from space and everything. Well, we've always had plagues and different things. The London plague, the Black Plague, always have different viruses. Chicken pots, typhoon, um, diphtheria. Polio. We've always had to live with all these different things and that. But are you really superstitious? I would love to hear from you. I'm going to finish now and I'm going to, if there's anything you'd like me to talk on or anything, I'm sorry I cannot predict lottery numbers. That would be a waste of time you asking me and I've got no intentions of doing that. Um, any subjects you'd like me to talk on? I try and use the wisdom and knowledge that I have and through God's blessings that show me these things. So anyway, have a good day and remember, don't walk under ladders. Ciao.